The future and success of America is not in this constitution, but in the laws of God upon which this constitution is founded. Oppressors can tyrannize only when they achieve a standing army, an enslaved press, and a disarmed populace. Crisis is the rallying cry of the tyrant. If our nation is ever taken over, it will be taken over from within. Disarm the people that is the best and most effective way to enslave them. The purpose of the Constitution is to restrict the majority's ability to harm a minority. The ultimate authority resides in the people, and that if the federal government got too powerful and overstepped its authority, then the people would develop plans of resistance and resort to arms. If man is not fit to govern himself, how can he be fit to govern someone else? I believe there are more instances of the abridgment of freedom of the people by gradual and silent encroachments by those in power, than by violent and sudden usurpations. Knowledge will forever govern ignorance, and a people who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power which knowledge gives. The right of the citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves and the state shall not be questioned. If tyranny and oppression come to this land, it will be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. If Congress can do whatever in their discretion can be done by money, and will promote the general welfare, the government is no longer a limited one, possessing enumerated powers, but an indefinite one. Democracy was the right of the people to choose their own tyrant. A president is impeachable if he attempts to subvert the Constitution. Justice is the end of government. It is the end of civil society. It ever has been and ever will be pursued until it be obtained, or until liberty be lost in the pursuit. What a perversion of the normal order of things, to make power the primary and central object of the social system, and liberty but its satellite. It will be of little avail to the people that the laws are made by men of their own choice if the laws be so voluminous that they cannot be read, or so incoherent that they cannot be understood. A people armed and free, forms a barrier against the enterprises of ambition that is a bulwark for the nation against foreign invasion and domestic oppression. Wherever there is interest and power to do wrong, wrong will generally be done. The advancement and diffusion of knowledge is the only guardian of true liberty.